Hello, I want to welcome you to His Word Lives Ministry, and I encourage you to tune in to this ministry, a ministry that creates opportunities for people to share Jesus, God's Word, and the Gospel out into the world. Today we're going to read from Psalms 119, verses 97 through 104. Oh, how I love thy law! It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Praise God for the benefits and the life that we have through believing in God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and experiencing the gift of salvation that He gives us in our lives. Listen, if you don't have God in your life, you're missing out. You're missing out on the best thing that could ever happen to a human, me a human being, and that is a personal and close saving relationship with the God that created you. You can get down on your knees and tell him that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he can save you from your sins. You know, God is the only one that can save people from their sins, from being separated from him because of our sins. God is not going to have anything to do with sin. Come one day, we'll experience a judgment. Those that have believed in Jesus and had their sin debts taken away and those that haven't and will be eternally separated from God. But you today can have life everlasting starting today through believing in Jesus Christ and experiencing a new relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Believe in Jesus, and thou shalt be saved. I want to pray for some people today in our prayer time. I want to pray for Justin Lindsay and situations going on in his life. I want to pray for Michael Bagley and for God's divine favor upon him. I want to pray for Desiree November and I want to pray for her unsaved family to be saved. This is her prayer request. And she also prays about two operations on her foot and healing after six months. I want to pray for Marlene Planco. Uh, I want to pray for her husband Bill that's broken his leg and is recovering in rehab. And Patty Paisley, I'd like to pray for her. And she's got some prayer request, unspoken prayer request. And I'd like to pray for Floyd Guthrie. Uh, he's been in the hospital and, and has recently had uh, pacemaker, uh, uh, some changes in his pacemaker. We want to we wanna remember Brother Floyd. We want to pray for Cheryl Cagle and she has prayer along with her husband for financial situations. And we want to pray for Pat Wilson. And she has two more trips to the cancer center and hopefully a good six-month checkup. We want to pray for Joan Eggers that's recently had back surgery and she's in a lot of pain right now as she's recovering. And we just pray that, that God would touch her and help her to get through this day. We want to pray for Veronica Bristol and our an employment contract situation she's dealing with and some important meetings. 
I want to pray for Reeves Hardware and Teresa and uh, her business. And we also want to pray for her granddaughter's kidney surgery coming up. And we want to pray for Anna Guthrie and her sister Deborah uh, at the passing of, of their dad. And that's my Uncle Joe, and he will have his funeral on Saturday. But we want to pray for Anna and Deborah and that immediate family. Uh, uh, that uh, God would comfort you and help you during this time. I'd like to pray for Robert Guthrie. That's my dad. He's been going through some sickness and some uh, a loss of blood count and his, his health overall, and he's having a hard time walking. And we want to pray for, for uh, dad and that God would touch him and help him in all the areas of his life where he needs help from God. And we also want to pray for his wife, Carolyn, and caretaker, that God would help her during this time. Now you lift up your prayer request. Whatever's on your heart, God is listening for you to acknowledge him as the great physician, to acknowledge him as the one and only that can make a situation with some prayer requests and things that's going on in our life. Let's lift up our needs to God in prayer. Dear God, we come to you in prayer. We lift up these needs. We lift up the things that we would like to see happen, God. Lord, things that are beyond our capability and out of our abilities. God, we lift these prayer requests and things up to you. God, we lift up the ones that we've reached out to in this ministry and ask if they have a prayer request. Even if we didn't hear from them, God, we're praying for them and their lives, God, and, and just ask that you touch them and heal them and, 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 and give them new opportunities and blessings in life. All these things we pray in Jesus' most holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you and have a beautiful day. Thank you.